Well, it was a 77 to 75 loss for the Quinnipiac Bobcats. I'm Brian Schwartz alongside Ryan Chichester on the rebound for Q30 Sports. And Ryan, a really tough game for the Bobcats, but what can they take out of tonight? Well, they can take away the performance from Cameron Young. 27 points, 10 rebounds, and some of them really clutch rebounds. He was following his own shots, got his own rebound a couple times to extend that shot clock and keep the Bobcats in front. But in the end, John Carroll, they had kept him in check for most of the game. He was able to hit a big layup and finish the end one late in the game and then hit a couple free throws at the end to ice it. So they played a great game for about 30, 38 minutes and 30 seconds. So they can take away that they almost played a complete effort and almost came away with a road win. Cam Young spoke post game about his 27 point performance. Um, the performance doesn't really make a difference. Um, you know, we wanted to win. I think we played good defensively for the majority of the game. We kind of let up at the end and had some calls go against us but, and we couldn't get the win. So. That was Cam Young, but another one of the Quinnipiac stars is Shays Daniels, and he sat on the bench for most of the second half. Ryan Baker Dunleavy talked about it, where Abdullah Bundu really played well today, and that's why Shays sat. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, Bundu did play a great game, but also Shays Daniels just couldn't get it going. Like Dunleavy said after the game, he struggled a little bit. He picked up that early technical foul on a shot that he made. He was just frustrated that he didn't get a foul call. And, you know, I just didn't really like his body language for a lot of the game, just pacing the floor really slowly with his head down. I think Dunleavy saw it right away and took him out. He had checked back in just under two minutes before he got taken back out, and then he didn't come in the rest of the game. So I think that says a lot. Here's Baker Dunleavy post game about his decision to play Bundu over Daniels in the final couple minutes. Chase was just struggling, um, just wasn't his night, and um, you know it's just going to happen at times. I think, you know, mentally, physically, whatever it was, just wasn't all there. Uh, he's one of our most important guys, so uh, we're going to stick with him. We're going to we're going to go back to him. But tonight, I just felt like Julie was earning the opportunity. So a loss tonight, but Ryan, what can they do next? They got to get Chase Daniels more involved. Like we mentioned, he didn't play a lot tonight. He was clearly frustrated. Maybe the system just isn't fitting him right now, but. You know, when he's, on the, when he's on the court, he scores. He's got a great field goal percentage, but he's been in foul trouble a lot the past few games, fouled out two of the last three games. And then tonight, he plays only 13 minutes, so they got to get him more involved, get more of an inside presence, and that might open things up a little more for their shooters who just shot 23% from three tonight. It was a 77-75 to 75 loss to Hartford tonight. For Ryan Chichester, I'm Brian Schwartz signing off for Q30 Sports.